The last steps are to visually inspect the completed connector and to perform a contact retention test. At this point, we'll populate one more type of circular connector with solder cups. The solder cups are hollow cylinders that will contain the stripped end of the wires. Notice that the solder cups connect to numbered pins on the other side of the connector. Your documentation will specify which cups get populated and which cups remain empty. As with all populating operations, the first step is to cut and strip the wires. The correct wire strip length is critical for soldering wires into connector cups. Here's why. When the strip length is too long, there may be too much exposed wire. If the exposed wire violates minimum electrical clearance between non-common conductors, the result can be a short circuit. The minimum acceptable insulation clearance is when the insulation touches the cup, but does not interfere with the solder wetting inside the cup. It is a defective condition when the insulation interferes with the formation of the solder connection. Once the wires are properly cut and stripped, we'll secure the connector. Next, solder is added to the cups that will be populated. The solder inside the cups should have a concave or a curved in appearance. Then, we'll apply liquid flux to the solder inside the cups to remove oxidation and improve solderability. Now, we'll begin. Position the first pre-tinned wire at the front of the cup and the soldering iron tip against the side of the cup. When solder melt occurs, gently push the wire to the rear of the connector until it touches the back of the cup. Then remove the iron and hold the wire in place until the solder solidifies. Repeat this process for the remaining wires. Some flux residues are no clean and some require cleaning, depending on the customer and type of flux. At this point, we'll inspect the connections. All of these solder joints are acceptable. Notice that the wires are fully in the cups and that there is sufficient insulation clearance between the end of the cup and the insulation of the wire. The solder contains no dips or recesses within it and the fillets are slightly concave and show good wetting on all the surfaces.